Nothing screams nostalgia more than the food that we loved as a child. So today, we'll show you forgotten snacks from the 1980s we want back. Pudding Pops hit store shelves in the late 1970s, but in the 1980s, they became a must-have for kids. Jell-O, that classic jiggly fruity treat. And that company surprised everyone when they made something as good as Jell-O Pudding Pops. Pudding on a stick, rounder and richer in flavor than caramel, and just as delicious as it sounds. Introduced as all the goodness of real Jell-O pudding frozen on a stick, it became incredibly popular, selling a hundred million dollars worth in its first year. Did you also marvel at them and buy them literally by the ton back then? But what happened to them today, you'll probably ask, and something terrible happened. Today, Jell-O Pudding Pop is more absent than its former producer, Bill Cosby, who ended up in prison. Probably because that pudding was illegally good. But for discontinuing another snack, someone also should end up in prison. Bonkers were these delicious fruity chewy candies that had a truly unique taste, which you can't find anywhere anymore. These candies had a yummy fruity exterior and a flavorful fruit filling that you can't forget. They came in all sorts of flavors, grape, orange, strawberry, watermelon, and chocolate. Just insane. But perhaps what everyone remembers most are the Bonkers commercials. This product stands out most thanks to a series of TV ads where one character takes a bite of a Bonkers candy and a giant fruit falls from above like a bunch of grapes, prompting hysterical laughter. Everything in those commercials was energetic and over the top, but we loved it. Interestingly, after the ad stopped airing, Bonkers popularity declined until it became a rarity, only available in candy stores. And now they're completely gone, and we still crave that combination of gum and candy. We also can't help but wonder what other delectable delights await us just around the corner. It's doubtful if any sweet treat in the candy world was more unique than Pop Rocks, the iconic candies that became famous for causing small and big explosion in kids' mouths. These sweet little pieces that popped when placed in the mouth, introduced to the unsuspecting and unprepared market as early as 1974, kids of that era couldn't get enough of this fizzy candy that literally felt like fireworks bursting in their heads. Can it be replicated? Definitely not. Do you remember the feeling of putting them in your mouth? Oh man, it crackles, it sizzles, you don't know where it's coming from. So why isn't it around anymore if it was so amazing? The history is quite tragic. Already in the 1970s, an urban myth spread that some kid ingested a few bags of Pop Rocks with a fizzy drink and died when his stomach swelled from the gas and then exploded. This, of course, never happened. Yet the unfounded rumors spread far and wide, leading many people to believe that Pop Rocks were downright deadly, and that's why they were discontinued. But don't worry, the next snack is killer in taste, not literally a killer. And were you one of the lucky ones who got to try this sweet and fun drink before it was discontinued in 2001? We're talking about Squeeze It! In 1985, Squeeze It's lined the store shelves, enticing kids to tug on their parents' arm, begging them to toss the tasty drink into the shopping cart. When they first came out, they only had four flavors, but in 1992, Squeeze It's gained a ton of character. The Squeeze bottles added seven new flavors, along with seven new quirky caricatures. A new gang of Squeeze It's was born, each with its own distinctive face and personality. Squeeze It was more than just a snack, it had its own identity. Throughout, the Squeeze It company rolled out fresh products, offering special flavor versions like a mystery flavor, which was every kid's dream. And which flavor was your favorite? No wonder so many people want to reach for the nostalgic drink again, as an online petition to bring back the drink has over 6,000 signatures, so we're keeping our fingers crossed for the drink to once again fill the shelves. What snack will follow in the footsteps of Squeeze It's, capturing the hearts and taste buds of nostalgic snack lovers everywhere? Cheese balls may have been a mystery in terms of ingredients and production, but for those who grew up enjoying them in the 80s, they hold a special place in our hearts. For some, it's partly nostalgia, partly pure love for the cheesy corn snacks. 
Which team are you on? The brand has that nostalgic aura compared to other cheesy corn puffs available on the market. Cheese balls were just perfect. Sometimes we might be tempted by something unhealthy when it's so delicious, and we would certainly be tempted by another snack if it weren't for the fact that they're no longer produced and only exist in our memories. People are literally begging for the return of the popular, discontinued snack, Planters BB Crisp, which is at the top of the list of all childhood snacks they want to come back. PB Crisp consisted of a graham cracker shell shaped like peanuts filled with creamy peanut butter, and it was heavenly. There are so many people who want them back, it's ridiculous. Across the United States, there's a large cult-like following of people who want to buy them again. Are you one of them? And do you remember how the next snack in our lineup tastes? Before we move on, we'd like to remind you to subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up. Thank you for watching us, and now let's get back to the topic. Remember the fruit roll-ups? They were the ultimate snack. Those chewy, fruity strips brought back memories of carefree days and lunchbox surprises. Each bite was a burst of nostalgia, transporting us back to playground adventures and after-school snacks. With flavors like strawberry, cherry, and tropical punch, fruit roll-ups were a rainbow of childhood joy. The taste of sweet nostalgia is something we're all craving to experience again. But hold on to your taste buds, because what comes next isn't just another snack, but the 1980s icon. America has chips for every taste. For plain Jane to prefer a ready salted potato chip, to more adventurous palates craving flaming hot Cheetos. But some haven't stuck around on the shelves, even if they did have a massive fan base. That case was about a Boise's, the best chips ever produced in the entire history. These extra thick, rich potato chips had stronger potato taste than other chips. The precursor to the pop chip, these potato snacks featured crunchy air bubbles and enough salt to defrost the roads of western New York in February. Remember how potato chips would slip through your fingers, making it hard to hold onto a big bag? Probably because our hands were so small back then. Oh, Boise's were one of those snacks you wanted to call the perfect chip, even though everyone insisted they weren't chips. But one thing we know for sure is that the next snack we'll show you is one of the best in history. Named after the great baseball player and former right fielder for the New York Yankees team, Reggie Jackson, the Reggie Bar was a round candy bar covered in milk chocolate with peanuts and a caramel center. Originally intended as an innovative candy, it debuted during the Yankees' opening game in 1976, but proved so popular that it remained on the market until it was benched in 1982. Do you know why this candy bar became so popular? For many people, Reggie is the candy bar they enjoyed in their childhood, serving as a time machine of sorts. They call it comfort food because it transports us back to a specific time and place. It's beautiful. But what's even more beautiful is the last snack. Butterfinger BBs. Who didn't love those buttery, crunchy candies available in the 80s? These tiny bites of goodness delighted many candy lovers. The candies were almost as iconic as ripped blue jeans and flannel shirts that completed every cool kid's wardrobe. And which ones did you have? But one day, they suddenly removed poppable Butterfingers from the shops in the whole US. Everyone was scratching their heads and couldn't believe why they discontinued such an iconic snack. One theory suggests that the rapid melting temperature of the chocolate sealed the fate of the candy. The chocolate seemed to slide off the candy onto fingers faster than it could reach the mouth. As kids, we didn't mind at all and loved them no matter how messy they made us. And if you enjoyed today's episode, click here to see more of our videos. See you there.